right, it is time now to check in with our local CPA, Jeremy Bork. He joins us virtually today. Jeremy, thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, no problem. Happy Monday. And to all my golf nerds out there, happy Masters Week. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So you've been doing this series where you're kind of tackling some TikTok advice that's floating around. I'm excited to see what's floating around on TikTok right now. What's the topic for today? So right now it's a very popular topic because it starts, it's the start of the Masters Week, uh, which is one of the biggest golf tournaments of the year. And there's actually a tax rule related to this tournament that's uh, re commonly referred to as the Augusta Rule. Um, and it allows you to rent out your personal residence for up to 14 days hmm. with tax-free without having to report that income or the expenses related to that income. So and what yeah. does what does that mean for people if they, if they want to do something like this? So, you know, say it's Mardi Gras, right? And you want to have some friends that currently live in Colorado over um, and you charge them a rent because, you know, it's, it's fair market value. Um, you could do so and not have to pay taxes on that or even report it on your tax return. But TikTok tax advice people have been kind of stretching this rule to say that, oh, if you own a company, you can charge your company a rent for your home for 14 days tax free. Um, and that's specifically disallowed in this rule. However, there are some ways to do that, um, which is what we call a accountable plan. If you have an escort, um, what an accountable plan allows you to do is reimburse your employees tax free for any kind of expenses that relate to the business. And as an escort, you are an employee of your S corporation. Um, so there are ways to do this, but the tax advice that's coming out on TikTok is not really following these rules. And it's kind of throwing around a sexy term to get some clicks on their pages, I guess. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's a little misleading in a sense too. Yes, and, and you know, our combat is like, yes, you can do something like that, but that's not exactly part of the rules and it's, you know, we, CPAs kind of look like the bad guys, so always talk to your CPAs before you kind of follow this tax, uh, TikTok tax advice and um, ask for ways to kind of get this done ethically and uh, according to the code. Well, Jeremy, I love that we are kind of tackling that TikTok advice that is floating around out there. Thank you so much for joining us. We are out of time, but what's a good email so people can contact you? That would be jeremy at jborkcpa.com. Jeremy, as always, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again next Monday. If you at home want to rewatch this, head to klaf.com. But stick around because you have a great show.